the next step will be to clear all this mess underneath and to connect all the pipes and to run the waste outside and to do a wet test ah, sorry before that as I mentioned earlier we have to fix from the wall top uh, from the top of the unit up to the wall top so I'll do that we got a trap kit. Washing machine outlet. Plug on the other side, it's not used. In there. Standard waste pipe. The standard waste pipe can go straight out there. Now we'll have to see because that's our outside tap there. Is that going to interfere with it? It actually might do. So really we want to extend our waste maybe to go out this way further. Right. That's our position where we're going to exit through. So I'm going to use a hole saw just to start the hole up using slightly larger than a pipe. Uh, not to blow up a lot with the brick, still some of it blown. So change it to rotation only, slightly upwards now. At this point, I'm gonna push the pipe through. It's gonna be slightly longer than what we're gonna need. So I can I can actually see the edge of the cabinet there, the back edge. So I can easily do slightly longer. I can say 700 millimeters for the pipe. This is one pipe. Inch and a half, 40 millimeters. Something there. This is insulation. Now we got the pipe inside. We can actually trim this pipe here to desired length. Just going to check on this one. So comes to there. 
und so. There you go. Now I can go straight on outside and get that pipe down into the gully. Now we're going to connect this pipe down into the gully. Uh, we still got some movement on the inside. So I'm gonna cut the pipe back. Elbow will go there. Just gonna do it all on dry first. So I can get the whole pipe, bit of pipe cut. Anyone? Right now, we're gonna connect hot and cold to the top and also to the outside top and make an outlet for the washing machine. Now, because it might get a bit wet, we got a little towel to put down underneath there. Now, I have connected uh, waste first because waste is less flexible. So I wanted to make sure that we got enough room to run the waste out. Once the waste is all done, I can literally just undo the first and last nut on the con connections and remove entire waste out, out of the way. 
now we have full access to our pipes on the back. This is hot, that there is cold. So I'm going to mark him up as well as H and C. Um, got the bucket. We'll expect, um, we'll expect some water to come out from the hot side. I did open outside tap for the cold to reduce the pressure. A little tool to remove, to compress and remove the fitting. That's a cold side. Now, that is there, I can turn that valve off, and let's do a similar thing for hot, so I need a piece of pipe, then I can let the water back on. These isolating valves are directional, so you have to follow the arrow on the side. Okay, so I'm going to close the valve off, like that. Now I've got my insert ready and ready to go into the pipe here. So I'm going to try to be quick. Right, that is them two done. I can go and 
put a little water on at the same time that will be a nice little test to see how these holding up right water's back on these are all holding up which is good now I'm going to make a route for my hot and cold so my hot needs to come here so I can do that and bring it up there and then cold I can bring it up put a T in there for washing machine valve then up over T here to link up with the outside tap and out there for a cold cold tap so I'm going to use these brackets and I'm going to put them in where they need to go so the pipe is nicely secured there
once the sink is installed and plumbing stuff cleared away we can start installing the doors. <laughs> 